Hi there! In today's tutorial, we're going to talk about how to create a smoky brush to create a smoky texture in Illustrator so that we could lift our text or shapes using it. So let's learn how to make it. Here I'm going to create a new document of 1280 by 720 pixels and hit create. The first thing I'm going to do is to create a rectangle. So let's grab the rectangle tool and drag to make a rectangle covering the entire artboard. Let's fill it with black and change the stroke to none. And also lock this layer by clicking on the lock icon next to layer 1. And then click on the create a new layer button to create a layer on top of this layer. And all our work is going to happen in this layer now. Next, I'm going to grab the pen tool and change the fill to none. Also, I need a stroke weight of 0.05 millimeters. But my units are set to points and that's one of the features of Illustrator. Even though my units are set to points, I can always enter 0.05 mm. And Illustrator will do the calculation and give me the point equivalent of 0.05 mm. Isn't that cool? Now I'm going to change the stroke color to white. Let's now click on the artboard and hold shift. Holding shift will give you a straight line. So let's click once again to make a vertical line. And since it's the pen tool, it would want to continue until you close the shape. And in our case, we don't want to close the shape. We just need a straight line. So hold command on a Mac or control on a PC and click anywhere on the artboard and the line will be created and you will not have to close the shape. While the stroke is selected, grab the selection tool or hit V, which is the shortcut and then hit enter, which will reveal a panel. In here, enter 0.05 mm for horizontal position and 0 for vertical. If much like my case, your illustrator also has points as the default unit, then do ensure to enter 0.05 mm for millimeters and leave the calculation in the reliable brains of illustrator. Distance will automatically be set to the horizontal size, so don't change that. Now click copy and hold command D for around 30 seconds. This is basically a duplicate command that you can access from object and then transform and then transform again, which will perform the transform again command multiple times. Once 30 seconds are over, you should have a white vertical strip like you see in here. So now select all by hitting command A on a Mac or control A on a PC and then go to opacity option on the right and change the blending mode to screen and opacity to 8%. And then group the lines by hitting command G on a Mac or control G on a PC. Next, grab the pen tool and change the fill to white and stroke to none. And make an uneven shape like this, something that can represent a smoke design. You can make this shape separately or even on top of the white strip we've made. It does not really matter. What matters is that the dimensions of this shape should not exceed the dimensions of the white strip. So just keep that in mind. Now that our shape is made, we need to ensure that it is on top. So with the shape selected, go to object and then arrange and click on bring to front. The shortcut to achieve this is shift command and right bracket on a Mac or shift control right bracket on a PC. Now select both the shape and the white strip and go to object and then envelope distort and then make with top object. And the moment you do that, our shape will take on the white strip we made. One thing we need to ensure is to check that the fidelity is set to 100. So to do that, let's go to object and then envelope distort and envelope options. And in here, the fidelity should be set to 100. So hit OK. 
Basically, fidelity specifies how precisely you want the object to fit the envelope mold. Increasing the fidelity percentage can add more points to the distorted parts and increase the time it takes to distort the objects. Now we need to show the brushes panel and you can go to window and click on brushes to show it or even use the shortcut F5 for both Mac and PC. My brushes panel is sitting here so let me take it out. Click on this plus button at the bottom of the brushes panel to create a new brush. From the choices select art brush and hit OK. Rename the brush to any name of your choice. I'm renaming it to Smokey and then update the direction to up. And from the methods drop down options, select tints and shades and hit OK. Perfect. So now we've made our brush, but we need something to use it for. So let's select the pencil tool. Once selected, double click on the pencil tool icon and change the fidelity all the way to smooth. Doing this will give your strokes smooth curves and then hit OK. I've changed the stroke color to light blue and let me also change the stroke weight to 3 pixels. And let's write in something. So I'm going to write smoking in the stylish way possible for me using this mouse. And you don't have to write the word continuously like I did. You can even write individual letters. But if you do that, ensure that you group all your letters using Command G on a Mac or Control G on a PC. And then click, hold and drag the brush we've created and drop it onto the text. For slower computers, the processing may take a few extra seconds and uh, there you go, the state of the art, smoky text effect is ready to be served without a cigarette. Alright guys, that concludes our session today. I hope you've enjoyed it and have learned something new from it. So do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Until we meet again on Thursday, goodbye and thanks for watching.